Hello and welcome to the weekly Kashmir University Video Digest Quest. First a look at the highlights. Itadi Ministry inaugurates two labs in Botany Department. University signs MOU with Chanakya IAS Academy. And seminar on the Urdu journalism held. Now the details with your host Ahla Mushtaq. The Human Resource Development Minister, Ms. Smriti Irani, inaugurated two state-of-the-art laboratories through a video conferencing from New Delhi. University of Kashmir joins us today and I would like to congratulate the team there for we shall have two upgraded state-of-the-art labs in the Department of Botany and nine major labs in university today will be dedicated to researchers at a cost of 4.64 crores. The two research laboratories at the Department of Botany have been upgraded in tune with the international standards under Rashtriya Uchchatar Shiksha Abhiyan. Inaugurating the two laboratories online, HRD Minister said that her ministry is always there to provide support to higher learning institutions. Minister of Education Mr. Naeem Akhtar, while interacting with the MHRD, informed her that the university has started supplementary shift to augment students and therefore will help in furthering the gross enrollment ratio. The university has taken a very much needed lead in this. They have started this year with evening classes and 1500 students have already been registered and classes have already started. So I think that's what we are going to replicate in the city universities, the cluster universities that we are having in uh, Jammu and Srinagar. On the occasion, HRD minister also interacted with research scholars and responded to their queries regarding fellowships and other issues. I would uh, want to ask that what are the steps taken by uh, MHRD to ensure that the scholarships are released in uh, this uh, given time. Earlier, students of uh, Jammu and Kashmir were required to upload their certified documents, which included joining reports, supervisors, certification, etc. And UGC has now enabled an online certification of these documents, I'm sure which also helps the students engage faster with the regulator in terms of uh, getting their views in time. Now I want to know what interventions are being made by the MHRD ministry to promote interest in the field of science. Under Rashtriya Avishkar Abhiyan, we have initiated an engagement between institutions of higher learning and the school system, where universities and institutions like even IITs adopt the training and teaching practices in schools, have an increased engagement with students of schools so that their learning outcomes in terms of science and maths are enhanced. Later, speaking to the Quest team, senior professor of the university, Professor Zafar Ahmad Rishi, said that the RUSA program is strategic funding for higher education meant to improve the quality of research. Strategic funding to eligible institutions of higher education. The state of Jammu and Kashmir prepared a, pro a report, what is called as the uh, state higher education report which was submitted to the concerned agency and on the basis of detailed discussion, evaluation and ultimately 118 crores were approved in the first meeting and initially of these 118 crores, 23 crores were released to the state government. He said that they have already finished work on two laboratories and work on other seven labs is in process which will help to uplift the research work. In the University of Kashmir it was thought at that time to prioritize upgradation of the research labs, the reason being that the labs which were established way back in 60s were not upgraded till date and consequently we thought that it is opportune time for us to say prioritize lab upgradation under RUSA and it is in this backdrop that two labs have been upgraded out of nine, work on the other seven labs is in progress and we believe that as a result of this upgradation not only the ambience of the labs has improved, the 
the city of the scholars in the labs has also increased tremendously and then the facilities have also improved and we hope and expect that as a result of this lab upgradation our quality of work is also research work is also going to improve we will be more inclined to invite researchers from both within as well as abroad to our labs why because we have now better facilities professor rishi said that under the rusa funds are pre allotted for various activities the university of kashmir has qualified for those 20 crores and 20 crores stand sanctioned to the university of kashmir for infrastructure development now this infrastructure development has to take place in the institution in terms of upgradation of labs in terms of upgradation of classrooms for enhancing internet facility increasing the toilet and other facilities washroom facilities for the students creating i mean having hostel facilities for the students upgrading library facilities all these are included within the rusa and then the allocation is predefined to train civil services aspirants from kashmir at the center for career planning and counseling the university of kashmir signed a memorandum of understanding with new delhi based chanakya ias academy registrar professor musaddiq amin sahaf and managing director of chanakya academy mr ak mishra signed the mou at gandhi bhavan After the MOU, a seminar Art of Success was organized in which speakers expressed their opinion on the competitive exams. Director CCPC Professor Farooq Ahmed Khan while welcoming the guests said that the universities should adopt innovative policies in the field of higher education. The demand put by the 21st century entails upon all the universities to adopt a more aggressive approach for implementation of innovative policies and plans in the field of higher education universities as a natural ground have to provide a unique and appropriate setting for beginning this dialogue it also provides an opportunity to demonstrate how a modern university can serve as a co-producer of knowledge creating partnership with other institutions Managing Director of the IAS Chanakya Academy, Mr. Mishra, said that with the human resources available to him, he is sure to increase the number of IAS students from Kashmir. Kashmir University, in such a great way, has accepted to join hands and taken a decision that the academy will be trying best with all the best possible teachers and the faculties to add, if there is seven number from Kashmir now, will make it to 70 very soon in coming time this is my promise to the all of you here and we'll try to create a kind of competitive atmosphere and for this reason we are going to start some scholarship program here there will be a screening test which will be followed by one special workshop and seminar and a lot of awareness program in different parts of kashmir not only in srinagar but also in jammu and in other places registrar Professor Sahaf opines that Kashmiris have less exposure and that is the reason why they are lacking behind in these fields. The fact is most of the Kashmiris have the potential to qualify this exam but what they lack is perhaps the exposure and the art. Over and above the aspirant's potential, academic potential and commitment, there are two important things which we lack as a Kashmiri. first of all the corporate learning and second is what we called the competitive culture most of the kashmiris believe that if we have to grow we will grow while working independently we don't believe in group efforts and as a result of that what happens when we make effort we individually make effort and results are not encouraged and another problem with us is that we don't have the competitive culture in the state and that is the reason why we only plan for the jobs and we do not plan for the career dean academic affairs professor mohammad ashrafani expressed happiness that a good number of students are participating in all india competitive examinations it is a good augury for our society that uh, our youth 
is taking now very uh, active interest to participate in the All India competitive examinations. This land is very fertile. Right from very ancient times, the people used to come to Kashmir to learn at the feet of the Kashmiris. And according to Kalana in his Rajatrangani, he says that there are few things, very important things in Kashmir. Kashmir has certain attributes. And one of the most important attributes, he says, is learning. The Vice-Chancellor, Professor Khurshid Iqbal Andrabi, dismissed the notion that Kashmiris are most talented people in the world, adding, we should not be obsessive about our talent. I have grown up in culture of being self-obsessive with Kershaw tool being better than Indian tool. With Kershaw all, with Kershaw all this small and the, all that comes from outside this big, we still believe that Kershaw all is better than the other. The fact of the matter is that I've always found that we are self-obsessed and some, every nook in the corner, you would hear the Kashmiris are talented. I never found that talent in 60 years. And one of, the, one, of the, one of the finest occasions, ladies and gentlemen, is this one, where I somehow see a ray of hope that we, what we believe we actually can deliver on ground. And I must congratulate all these guys here that have made us proud. I personally am not a big fan of IAS examinations. I, I personally am not a big fan because obviously I cannot be a big fan. I'm in a different stream altogether and have lost the opportunity of appearing in the examination. But the fact of the matter is, let's face it, it is one of the toughest examinations in the country. And if somebody qualifies it, you cannot take the credit out from it. He said one has to admit that our educational institutions have not prepared the youth of the valley to meet the global challenges. Most important part is that the universities and the college systems also have somehow let us down in the sense that we have not prepared our youth and prepared our children in a manner that would make them more competitive at the end of the day. And from the day I joined this institution, I think I am, my bent of mind is somehow to connect with the society, not necessarily with the students who are enrolled in the university, but students who aspire to do many things via this university. In that context, the establishment of CCPC, that is the Center for Career Planning and Counseling Institute, that would provide students with all kinds of amenities and facilities to prepare for these kind of examinations. The Department of Urdu, in collaboration with the National Council for Promotion of Urdu Language, New Delhi, organized a day-long seminar on the role of Urdu journalism in promotion of the Urdu language and literature. The Valley-based NGO, Kashmir Environmental and Social Organization, Bandipur, also collaborated in the event. Assistant Professor, Department of Urdu, Dr. Kausar Rasool, presented the welcome address سرسد کی اصلاحی تحریک نے ہندوستانیوں کی نہ صرف تعلیمی اور سیاسی میدان میں خدمت کی بلکہ زبان و ادب اور صحافت کو بھی عظیم فائدے پہنچائے سرسد نے اردو زبان کو ابہام و پیچیدگی سے نکال کر عام فہم سادہ اور سلیس اور آسان بنانے کے ساتھ اس میں تنوع بھی پیدا کیا اور ہر قسم کے موضوعات کو بھی جگہ دی مضمون نگار کی اس نئی صنف نے بیسویں صدی میں انشائیہ کے لیے زمین ہموار کی جس کے آغاز سے ہی مختلف معاشرتی سیاسی اور ادبی واقعات رونما ہونے شروع ہوئے تھے چنانچہ انہی واقعات و حالات نے ادبی صحافت کو ایک نیا رنگ و آہنگ دیا اسسٹنٹ پروفیسر ڈاکٹر عارفہ بشرا ان ہر پریزنٹیشن سیڈ دیٹ دیر از اے اسٹرانگ نیڈ آف آرگنائزنگ دیز ٹائپس آف ایونٹس اینڈ سیمینارس سو دیٹ دا اسٹوڈنٹس اینڈ سوسائٹی انڈرسٹینڈ دا ویلیو آف جرنلزم ایسی محفلیں اور ایسے سیمینار کو منعقد کرانا وقت کی اہم ضرورت ہے لہذا ہمیں چاہیے کہ وقتاً فوقتاً ایسے پروگراموں کا اہتمام کرے تاکہ سماج کا ہر فرد اور خاص کر ہمارے طلبہ طالبات اس بات سے باخبر رہے کہ صحافت یا اخبار نویسی ایک قدیم فن اور پیشہ ہے اس کی روح سے ملکی سیاسی اور سماجی حالات کو حکومت اور عوام تک پہنچانے کا فریضہ ادا کیا جاتا ہے موجودہ صدی میں اخبار نویسی کو بے پناہ مقبولیت ملی اور اخبار سائنسی ذرائع ابلاغ کا ایک اہم شعبہ بن گیا فارمر ڈین آرٹس پروفیسر زمان آزردا ریگریٹڈ دیٹ دا اردو جرنلزم واز ناٹ ٹیکن سیریسلی اینڈ دا ہائیلی ایجوکیٹڈ پیپل کنسیڈرڈ اٹ بلو دیئر اسٹیم ٹو ورک فار دا اردو جرنلزم
एक जमाना ऐसा था कि पढ़े लिखे लोगों ने कभी हाथ काले नहीं किए प्रेस से दिलचस्पी लेना अखबार निकालना उसके मानी होते थे हाथ काले करना ये सिर्फ कम तालीम याफ्ता नीम तालीम याफ्ता लोग करते थे बड़े बड़े लोग पढ़े लिखे लोग ऐसा नहीं करते थे आजकल जब हम देखते हैं सहाफत का जो हाल हो गया है उसमें इतनी मुबालखा आ रही और इतना वो डिमिनिश करके भी यानी इसके अपोजिट वो पेश करते हैं वाकयात को कि लगता है कि असलियत तक हम पहुंच ही नहीं सकते आजकल अभी शेक्सपियर का वो सेंटेंस जो बहुत मशहूर है आजकल मुझे बहुत हांट करता है गिव द डॉग अ बैड नेम एंड किल इट आज मालूम होता है कि इसका सही जो है यानी मफहूम क्या है अब हमारे यहाँ थोड़ा बहुत कश्मीर में उल्टा भी होता है वी फर्स्ट Kill the dog and then give it a bad name. Graphic designer at the EMMRC, Mr. Akhtar Rasool, emphasized on the use of electronic books for the Urdu journalists. हम हर रोज सिर्फ यही बात करते हैं अदब की, ज़बान की और बाकी सब चीज़ों की लेकिन इसको secure कैसे किया जाए ये एक बड़ा question है जो books हैं उनका एक अपना मज़ा है यकीनी तौर पर उनका एक अपना मज़ा है लेकिन ये जानकर आपको हैरत होगी कि Amazon ये कहता है कि जो प्रिंटेड बुक है उससे हम 300 हंड्रेड टाइम्स ई बुक्स हम डिलीवर करते हैं इलेक्ट्रॉनिक बुक्स और हमने खुद ही उर्दू को या तो हमने छोड़ दिया है या तो हमको प्रॉब्लम होती है कि हम उर्दू को एक रेगुलर लैंग्वेज के हिसाब से यूज़ करें तो ये एक हमारे लिए एक बहुत बड़ा सवाल या निशान है कि हम खुद ही अपनी लैंग्वेज को ख़त्म कर रहे हैं अभी तक इस सेंचुरी से जितने भी हम देखे लग करीबन 20 साल हम अभी नस्तालिक फॉन्ट में ही फंसे हैं अभी जो आपने बैनर पीछे है वो नूरी नस्तालिक में है कोऑर्डिनेटर ऑफ एनजीओ केईएसओ मिस्टर मोहम्मद यूसुफ प्रेजेंटेड अ पेपर ऑन द उर्दू पोएट्री एंड जर्नलिज्म जम्मू कश्मीर के बाशिंदे यहाँ के शायराना माहौल और शानदार इलमी अदबी और फिनी वरसे के मालिक है इस पस मंजर में यहाँ के खलाक जहनों ने संस्कृत फारसी और अरबी के अलावा दीगर मकामी जबानों में अपनी तखलीकी सलाहियतों को मनवाया है उर्दू जबान में तबाह आजमाई करने और शेर मौजून करने में जो अवामिल माविन व ममद रहे हैं उनमें सबसे अहम यही कौमी और इज्तमाही तजुर्बा है जिससे अवाम व खास की जबान में शेर गुनगुनाने और नगम सराई करने की आदि हो चुकी थी जब लाहौर के बाद जम्मू में बिदिया बिलास प्रिंटिंग प्रेस कायम हुआ तो इससे मकामी तौर अखबार और रसायल का इजरा मुमकिन हो गया उस जमाने में हर अखबार अपना मौक़ समझाने के लिए किसी मुसलमा शायर का जोरदार शेर सफ़े अवल के बालाई हिस्से पर नुमाया तौर पर दर्ज करता था असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर डॉक्टर मुश्ताक हैदर प्रपोज द वोट ऑफ थैंक्स With this, we come to the end of today's program. In case you have missed some part of the program, log on to emmrckashmir.com where you can watch whole episode. Send us your suggestions at our email address quest at emmrckashmir.com. Before I take your leave, here are a few words of wisdom. Knock and he'll open the door. Vanish and he'll make you shine like the sun. Fall and he'll raise you to the heavens. become nothing and he'll turn you into everything